What is up everybody, this is your host SuperSai and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be building a computer you'll see on user benchmark with a 400 US dollar budget. Okay, there we go. Now, first things first, let me clarify, as always, I'm no computer expert. I don't actually know that much about computers, but I think it's fun to compare them and try and get the best value parts and try my best based on the data. So as you can see, uh, 500 New Zealand dollars from yesterday is about 300 US dollars. So if we exit that one here, this was the two we came up with yesterday. So with a 500 New Zealand budget, $500 New Zealand budget, which is about 300 US dollars, this is these are the two so for example if you had to have every part this is the computer i'd choose if you didn't have to have all the parts i'd probably go with this one i mean yeah probably this one i mean technically you could put like a really good cpu and skip the graphics card but these are the two i decided but we're going to be swapping to us dollar now it's weird because 500 new zealand dollars is about 300 us dollars but i don't know why then it converts out of that anyway so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going yeah so then it's about the same value that's really weird. Anyway, we're going to be doing it in US dollars today. And we're going to be making a 400 US dollar. Probably we'll end up making two alternatives. It's sort of mainly linked to whether I have a... I don't know. I mean, there's, there's so many alternatives. But it's kind of linked to which GPU I use and stuff like that. Okay. Like if I go with a better GPU at the cost of the other three other four components. Or if I just go low CPU and then boost the other one. So... Anyway, or I get, you could go no GPU and just have real good CPU, uh, real for good of the, now, and this does not include a motherboard. Okay, so, where to start? Okay, so there we go, we're gonna press build. Okay, there we go, there we go, Bob the Builder, let's get it. Okay, and we're still in US dollars. Okay, so, there we go, and we'll duplicate this tab again. Okay, I mean, we can get rid of that other one now. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna start with the CPU, so with 400 US dollars. Now, we're gonna go value. Now, this is the real question. This is the real question. Oh, because, I mean, 400 US dollars is great. And that, I mean, you know, this one here is good. But, I mean, that that's literally half the budget if we were to go for that. It's tough. It's tough if we if we want to go for that or not. It's, it's honestly, it's like, which one do we go for? I mean, it, okay, let's have, let's have a comparison. Okay, this one versus this one here. Bam. Oh, wait, no. No, actually, we'll go that one versus that one there. Kachow and Kachow. Bam, like this one versus this one. So, what's the, what's the results? So, 30%, 20% better for this one, which isn't huge, considering it's like a hundred and something more. There we go, and it shows where all the prices are from. So, yeah, that's... I don't know, it would be, it would be a lot better, though. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, well, let's just start with this one here. Just start with the good old... That one there, and we'll, we'll, we'll build up from there. So, we'll go I3, and it's the, this one right here. Bam. There we go. 75 US dollars. Okay. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. 75 US dollars. Good start. Good start. Now, assuming if we're going to go with that one, we should be able to get a better GPU. So, it's, it's kind of weird because when you have like, it's crazy because I'm already at the, the, the point in which the budget, like the other one was just bare bones. Like you could barely get something with that. But now it's at the point where... It's like, now, nah, you know, it's like, well, I mean, you could get, like, a really good GPU and a bad CPU, a really good CPU and a bad GPU, and it's, like, hard to know. Okay, value. Bam. See, now, since with that extra 100, we've sort of opened the door to getting, like, much, much better. See, this is the one I own myself. The, this computer, this very computer is running on. So, here are all the different ones. And, see, that's 80. But that's 60. Mm, this one here. That one's looking like a, a solid option. A solid option. Yeah, I, re I reckon... Oh, because... Yeah, I mean, that one there would be too much. Okay, so, like, how it... Uh, yeah, I, I reckon... I reckon this one here, to be honest. There we go, this one here. 218. Hmm. It's better than... Well, it's about the same as that one. That one's only 200, but it's much worse. So... Assuming we, because 170, okay, let's just have, let's compare these two and see if that extra is worth it. Nine, oh, wait, no, that's, I don't really worry, I mean, me personally, but if you're a gamer, that's very important. I mean, I am a gamer, I'm a mobile gamer, but yeah, anyway, so 9% more for, yeah, I mean, that is quite a, quite a step up, to be honest. Quite a step up, like, hmm. Oh, this is so tough, eh? That I'm already, like, stuck. Because, I mean, it could get a better CPU or a better GPU or whatnot. Mmm. Okay, well, what if... Because... Okay, if we go... Wait, okay. If we go to the this one here, we go for the i5. Which one? The i5... 
We'll go with, because it has to... It's, you're supposed to, yeah, so we'll go with the integrated, that one there. Okay, bam, like this here. Okay, so that one there, yep. And that's way more. So then if we go GPU. So GPU, I would have to go with, like, the worst GPU, won't we? Because, yeah, well, yeah, because, of course, if that's 200, you can't have 200 or there's nothing left for the other ones. I don't even know if that will work. Okay, so if we went for that, I mean, we have, I don't know. Because, I mean, technically, you could have a good GPU and good CPU, but have absolute trash HDD, SSD, and RAM. And then you can't afford to have trash RAM. Okay, no, um, no, actually, oh, uh, yeah, because I don't think that will work. Because, like, 160. Uh, wait, oh, that was that one there. 160. Because that would be... 30, you need, you need, yeah, just, like, 100. At, at least, yeah, at least, sort of, to make it half decent. So, and if that's 200... You can only have a graphics card worth a hundred bucks, which you could do that. Okay, let's uh, let's say we did do that RX five seventy. Let's see if we could make that work. Here we go RX five oh uh, RX five seventy cheap one, not that one. RX five seventy. Wait, why are those other ones? Why are these ones? Oh no, because they're okay five seventy. Let's try that one there. Oh, because those other ones, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, and also another a massive caveat to this is I'm only doing it on ones that have prices listed here. Otherwise, I can't tell what their options are because there will be a whole heap of these ones here, which may well be great. But, and so, yeah, only, there's only 40 options. I'm doing it even though there's like 600. Yeah, that's, that's a massive caveat in doing it like this. Because all of these ones here, they might be really good ones, but I don't know. Because I'm doing it based on value. But the value ones, they only show up if they've got a price listed. So that's a massive caveat. So this is assuming that they have the price listed. But if they don't have the price listed, well, I don't know if you could, if it's for sale then. Okay, see that there? Mmm. With only $80 left. There we go. That, that is... Mmm. But, yeah, okay. Because how much, how much do we spend on that? So $50 on the RAM... 50 again if you if you skipped out on the on the HDD you could probably get by with using these two here mmm yeah really yeah because if that the 70 82 dollars and what's this looking like 82 yeah, you just about squeeze that in with no yeah with no yeah that's if you wanted to go with the extra with the uh, ah yeah man okay well let's just try that so we'll go we'll we'll go to we'll figure it out again there we go we'll go to RAM and we'll go, get the best value RAM value like this bam and seventy eight dollars that one there why did I go with the uh, two why did I go with that one when the other one is here. Hmm. Because it's like... Maybe it was faster. Let's have a look. This one. Oh, what? That's not right. These prices have been funny. Because, yeah, $70 here. But, yeah. Yeah, these prices have been a bit funny. Hmm. Okay, so... Because that's, yeah, that's US dollars. So, this one here... 58. Okay, so we'll assume we'll go with that one there then. So, the the ven Vengeance. Okay, and ven Vengeance. Uh, wait, no, we'll just, okay. Hmm, let's try that again. What was it? The, okay, DDR4, 2400. DDR4, 2400. 2 times 8. No, 2 times 8? No, 2 times 4. 2 times 4. 2 times 8. Four, two times eight. Nope. Go down this two times four. That one? No, because that doesn't have a price. Two times four. Was it that one? Don't think it was. No, because it wasn't a two times four. That one. I think it's that one. Bam. Forty eight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Wait, live Amazon price. Oh my goodness, the change. Oh no, it's a C sixteen. What? Oh my goodness, this is really inconsistent with these prices just changing. Okay, there we go, like this. So, that is that C16. So, that is 
Is that the same one? There we go. That is that sixteen. What? Wait. Oh no no I made no I made a mistake. Nope, that's my fault. Bam. So it's it's what I do. Bam. I did something wrong. Two times four. And this is Oh this was that. This is two times eight. Oh, so I went last time. Oh, with that one. There. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. No, that was a rookie mistake. Two times four, yeah, it is two times four. Yeah, that's the one I was looking for. Okay, there we go, so that. And then under SSD, we'll go with SSD. There's so many options, there honestly is. Okay, there we go, and we go to value. Kachow. That one there. That one right there. Yep, that one. Okay. This one right here, I think that's that's the one we used in the other one. So the NV, oh, let's just copy that, like so. It is this one, right? Copy. That was the one we used, the NVP. Oh, no, we used the 120. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. Because that one, hmm, because that's $60 for the... Forty-nine dollars. Oh, that's way cheaper. Oh, cause it what? For example, what is the seventy-four one versus the uh, fifty-four? Fifty-four, forty-nine. Hmm. How do I conclude to use that other one? What? Cause forty-nine. Was that the one I used? Pilot. Forty-nine US dollars. No SSD. I used one even cheaper, thirty-four. Man, I must use the ultra cheap one. Price that way. Thirty. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That like looks. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because the other it'd be good to go with that one. Okay. Anyway, we'll go. Okay, we'll go with this one again. There we go, copy, and we'll come back to here. Baseline SSD, that one there. Bam, 401. That's without an HDD. I mean, you could get by with that again, as like the last one. As like the last one. Yeah. Because, I mean, you could... That's the cheapest graphics card, eh? yeah, of those listed, yeah. So, I mean, you could again... You could get by with that, but I think... I think we'll... Okay, that's just so... Yeah. Okay, next time. Okay, that, so that's an option. That's an option, but I think this time we're going to... Oh, no. We're going to assume that it starts with a i3, the i3 one. This one here. Because if you have those two, it, it sort of just wrecks it because you can't really make anything else of any good quality in that. And... Yeah, you just can't... If you have, But no, this is what wrecks it. If you put that in there, it costs $200... And it just does. It just doesn't leave any. Assuming that you're going to have a graphics card, you have to have that. So then, therefore, there's like no, nothing left to afford these. So we're going to go with this. So then it gives us way more money for the other ones. But I mean, this would be doable. That would be doable. But I think I don't think I'd. Even, I don't think I'd want. I don't know. It's hard to tell because I mean that is good. Those things would be great, you know. And you could probably get by with that RAM, you know. Although there could be better, you know. And that. Okay. So assuming we go with this, then it gives us far more room to. To branch out with all the other things. So GPU wise value. We could probably jump up to the, the RX 590. Okay we'll see. Okay so we'll go to GPU. RX 590 this one. How much is that going to leave us? $100. $100. Ooh that is, that is quite hefty. That's, yeah, there's almost a, tr a third design, and it's another, if you had, like, another low graphics card one, you could then, there's $100 left for all those other three things. Now, actually, I don't, I mean, that, again, you could do that and have, basically, that stuff there, but a tiny bit better, and miss out on that again, but I don't think I'll actually go with that one. So, there we go, that one, 160. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Yeah, okay, let's go with the super. I think that will give us better better options for those other things. Yeah, GTX 
I mean, again, because that would be doable, and you just have basically that and that, but just those two are slightly better, and again, miss out the HDD. But I think it's important that uh, we need to have one that we need to have one design for each of them that includes all five of them. Uh, yeah. Okay. So in which case we won't go with that. We would go with the super. Okay. There we go. The super. This one right here, which is the fifty one. Yeah. Because it, well, let's see. The super versus the one we would like to get. That one. Ah, uh, it's not actually much better to be honest. No, no, it's actually no. That's not worth it. No, no. I, I honestly don't think that's worth it in my view. I mean, oh. Uh, if you, yeah, if you're on a tight budget, I don't think that's worth it. Because, I mean, that there is... That's like 60 US dollars more. And it's not really that beneficial. I mean, I don't know. It's like 5%. Uh, effective speed, 7%. So, yeah, about mm, 3 to 7% more. It's hardly worth it. I don't know. I, I honestly think that I'd, I wouldn't want that, actually. Because, I mean, that, that just screws it. You can't really get by with that, to be honest. I mean, you can, but then it's hardly much better, and it means that the other things, the SSD and the RAM are compromised, whereas if you have this, you still have, we still have a lot of money this time, which is good. So, yeah, because we couldn't, we couldn't chuck that in, we couldn't have the super with the, with that one there, although with the 500 budget, we probably can, but we're not at the 500 budget yet, so. I think we'll go with the super. Again, I, I could be micro comparing, but I think we might. So that means we have $200 left. That's crazy. That's awesome. Okay. And, yeah, if we do that, it's over 100 Yeah, we can't. Yeah, so assuming we have that, I think that's a good option. That's a solid option right there. Okay. So I've got those two. Let's have a look. And uh, someone mentioned, uh, shout out to shout out to Lynn and It's Bacon, who were here for yesterday's one, in which I did it with a 300 US dollar budget, although I did it in New Zealand dollars, 500 New Zealand dollars, which will make this series confusing, because I intend to do it in increments of 100 US dollars each time. Uh, but yeah, shout out to It's Bacon. Said, Imagine if someone actually copied this, and I thought that would be quite entertaining. Again, I'm not choosing the motherboards, because I don't, A, know anything about motherboards, and B, you can't even compare the motherboards. To me, it's just meaningless, like what they what they are. I don't, I don't know what any of that means. So I think I'll just exclude that. Like, obviously, if you bought a real computer, you would have to buy one of these. But I, d I can't advise you on that. So just account for this cost. No, yeah, so just, oh, well, I don't know if that's any good or not, but just to counter, for example, if it's like how to get by the, the 300 US dollar budget, make it 500 as it, you'd have to choose a motherboard, which seems to cost like 100 or 200. And then you'd also need a case. So they shouldn't be too dear. But yeah, you have to account for those things, which I haven't accounted for. So yeah, just add like 200 US dollars onto each of them. So the 300 one, make it 500. And you know, so this one here, which is a $400 one, make it 600 because you'd need a motherboard as well as a case. So you could go with like that and a case. Okay. But oh, this this is for those specific parts, which is the majority of the computer, but not entirely. You, of course, need a motherboard. Okay, so there we go. Now we have 170 to spend on the other three things, which is awesome. Okay, let's. I, I reckon we're going to get a solid as RAM with that. Okay. So last time, I'm sort of kind of... Uh, kind of cheating in this. So I'm looking at what I got last time to sort of compare it. Okay, you know, I don't think that's cheating. Okay, there we go. So, because we got... How much do we... What do we get with that? $48. So we got... That one? No, no, not that. What? 48 We will have got... Oh, that one. Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty high for value-wise. And again, these are only based on the ones that have prices. There will be stuff that's potentially better than these things that don't have prices. But maybe not. There will be some things that genuinely even if the other stuff without prices was here I'd probably still go with it. So this one here that's ninety five. Yeah I reckon this one here. Oh that's that's four times oh no that cause that's double the RAM. Because uh, I was thinking, well you know but I was like the percentage points isn't much more. Hmm. Okay this is two oh wait no why am I looking at that? Oh because I was looking at the fact that that's green but this one here Oh this one's tough eh this one's tough. Oh and we can't spend that much on it. Yeah, we can't actually. We have to be careful because even though it's like, well, we have $165 left. That's like, if we got that, there's no room for the other two things. So, no, we can't get anything over 100 to be honest. Yeah, we know. Okay, so in that case, we have to go with something. That, oh, I mean, but what about 80? Is 85 acceptable? Hmm. There we go. So, because let's compare this and this. There we go. What? How much faster is it? Hmm, 67%. 
For five extra dollars isn't much, but yeah, actually, okay, wait. So 70 and 75. Yeah, these prices aren't showing exactly right. Okay. So assuming we did go for that, because it's only five extra dollars, I think that would be... I think that would be a good option right there. There we go. That one's, again, slightly faster. That's the... with the four times. Let's have a look at these two. Bam. Mmm, ninety-five dollars. That's... Mmm... Um, I think, because this one here, then you have two extra slots and that. Effective speed, 4%. I would rather, I think I'd rather get a better HGD. We'll see. It will go back, because if we still have a spare $20, we'll go with that. Okay, so DDR4, and it's a C15. Okay, so we'll go to the RAM. And DDR4. I think it's cool that we actually do 3,000 oh, 3, C15. And it's the, not that, it's two times, two times eight. That one? Mm, no, it wasn't a hundred bucks. Two times eight, I think it's this one right here. Bam. Okay, there we go. So $90 left. Yeah, I think actually that's a fair, fair price. $75, because we can't really, we need to get that H, yeah, so that, yeah, I think that's a fair. That one there, instead of that one, yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. Okay, bam. So, looking good. Okay. Let's go to the... It's crazy how, it, like, yeah, we're starting to get these, these numbers up, which is good. Let's go to the HDD. Okay, HDD. Oh, these and these have hot specials or whatnot. That's funny. Okay, so we're going to go to average... Oh, no, not about that. Oh, the, yeah, okay, let's go value. Oh, wow, that's actually quite... Oh, you know, I was actually genuinely looking at these, trying to figure out... I think I'll go with that one for my own one, actually. Okay, so 40... That's, again, it's such a... Because how much do we have left? Yeah, we actually better go with that one, to be honest. We can't really... Oh, that one there. $55. Let's just have a quick cheeky check between that and that. Bam and bam. That one... Yeah, I mean, that has an extra terabyte, but this one's faster and cheaper. So, yeah, we'll go with this one here. So, the ES.3. There we go. I love how things that have released, been released ages ago are still so good. Like this. So, we'll go ES.3. ES.3. Nope, I typed that in wrong. E, e, no, ES.3. Okay. 0.32B. 0.3TB. Hmm. Okay, let's try Constellate, con constellation. Okay. Cons. Oh no. What? No, I might wait. Is this on H SSD? That's an S SSD. Oh wait. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. There we go. HDD. Okay, and we'll go point three. And point three. 2TB. Still more that have 0.32TB. Hmm, this one? Is that the one? Don't think it is. We'll click it anyway. Nah, it was 44 bucks. Okay, no. So, we'll go... Okay. Cons... Oh, there we go. 44, that one right there. Bam. Okay, so we have $46. $46 to spend on the SSD. Okay, because what do we get with that last one? SSD. Oh, we only spent 34, so we'll see if we can get something slightly better. Again, we could spend 20... No, that won't be enough. Okay. What do we get? We got... 49? No. 47? Hmm. 40... Wait. Thirty-four dollars. Oh, we must have been so low budget. That's why. So, and we can spend. Is it forty-six? Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Seventy-five, sixty. Yeah, we can't really. Okay. Well, if we go to cheapest, bam. No, nope, the other way, bam. Forty, forty-six. Theoretically, we can spend. That one stands out once again. For is that for forty dollars? Is that the same one? That one. That one, that one, that one. We went with the HP. Why, why is that such better value? Hmm. 
that was the one so that was thirty four dollars oh wait there we go thirty four so we went with oh that one which yeah makes sense okay so one hundred and thirty six can we beat that one hundred and fifty that one there if we can afford that one oh those ones oh my goodness it's like so much better for like just a tiny bit okay so if we go that one versus oh wait no oh wait were they the two they might have been because yeah that's 136 is solid versus that one bam 17 percent man there that's way faster that one there will s oh, that one there's probable for 47 if we could just we can't really get much more out of that because that's a 47 dollar 200 that one there if we go bam bam like so 33 percent more man yeah for just a tiny bit but then we'd have to what do we have to drop then if we're going to use that we have to cut out ah uh, because we could drop back on the ram a little bit and then get a, a much better one of those mm, okay wait let's just see how much that costs if we were to get that one there so nvme or m.2 M.2 that, so we'll go over here to the SSD. M.2 was it? Ah, oh, hate it when you forget. <laughs> Seventy-four? No. Oh yeah, I think it was that one. Was it? Seventy-four? Nope, it's definitely not that one. Hmm. Oh no, it wasn't a. Pilot, uh, so NVME, I forget this is, NVME, that didn't help, PCLE, PCLE, oh, wait, are we on SSD? SSD, yep, PC, oh, maybe it's IE, PCIE, yep, M.2, M.2, it has to be come up, nope, we're still going, okay, Two five oh man, there's so many with that same term. Okay, and it is forty three. That one there, Kachal. How much is it? Oh, wait, is that under forty nine dollars? Wait, is that? Wait. Two point. Wait, no, that's for the SEC. Wait, no, it's not that one. Oh my goodness. Nah. <laughs> okay, let's just click on this and we'll copy it. No, not that. This one. Oh, how do we copy that? No, oh my goodness, hmm. Wait, let's just find it in the list. Pilot, so it was the one that is to this one. Okay, copy that and come back to here. And go bam, like so. That one. Kachal, it's 100. Oh wow, yeah, so, oh, that's $3 over. There we go. That is, because how much does that 200 and that's significantly better if we were like that. Okay, over here. And that's so that's because if we go to HDD and the best value one, 44. Yeah, that's a good value one. And there you go. So that one, 100. And yeah, that's a tricky one because I mean, oh, it's a better graphics card there. Hmm. Alright, because I'll accept that to it, 403. If it's within, like, five bucks, it's like, alright, we'll allow that, we'll allow that. Okay. But, yeah, that, I think that's going to conclude it, actually. Again, it would totally depend, I, I say that multiple times, because it's true, you know, on, because, I mean, if you didn't need a graphics card, then you could just boost everything else significantly. But assuming you needed everything, assuming you needed everything... If you needed everything, you couldn't go with the Intel Core i5. 
there and have the even even with that cheapest graphics card of the ones that are priced it wouldn't work you couldn't it'd just be absolute trash ssd hd ram if you could even uh, you probably could you probably could just afford it but i, I i'd honestly prefer to have to i i I'll probably yeah this one here over this this setup here because what is this versus i mean obviously there's yeah, 70, that's, that is significantly faster. And this one here, though. That is, yeah. I mean, that's a tricky choice. If if, if you had to go between one of those two. Hmm, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, that's sort of... And it's not necessarily the exact one I would choose, like, 100%. Like, it might be something slightly I'd modify a little bit. But I think that would be a, a fairly... Accurate, genuine, uh, gen like you know, overall picture as to if they said, "Hey, here's 400 US dollars. Please buy me a computer." You know, if someone gave me 400 and wanted me to buy them a computer, and they said, "You know, I I want it to have a graphics card. You know, and I want it to have an HDD." I would give them something pretty similar to this, to be honest. Yeah, pretty similar to this. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, because 120, that would be. Like, I mean, for gaming, I'd, oh, no, for gaming, because then you have a better graphics card. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this here is a pretty good overall picture as to what I'd get. I mean, there might be slight minor changes I'd make, but I think overall that one there, I I'd, I'd, I think that I'd consider that a pretty good computer. This one here I don't think is terrible either, because, I mean, an i5-9, that's a solid-ass CPU, and they have a GPU. I mean, the only problem, the major problem with this one would be storage, because you just don't have an HDD. Pardon me. And the GPU is slightly worse, but still it's, you know, GPUs are GPUs. GPUs are pretty good, generally. So, I think. So, but yeah, I mean, both of those are valid options. And again, I could, you know, there's all sorts of different minute things that you could change, you know, depending on the variables. But that, as an approximation, as an approximation, if, if someone wanted me to get them a computer for 400 or if I was getting a computer for $400, I'd get something along these lines and that. Uh, uh, something like something like this or something like this, approximately. Not exactly, but but kind of similar to, to one of those two options and that. Yeah. So, I mean, because oh, yeah, that one does have 16. That is more RAM, which is helpful. Yeah, that one doesn't have as much RAM. I mean, that one there has, like, it really, I mean, the CPU is so much better, but it really does suffer in these other areas. Well, mm, kind of. No, that one there, not too too badly. Well, I mean, it doesn't even have an HDD, and the RAM is half, and, and like, yeah, so you could you could have problems with this one, because, A, there's there's no space, really, and the, the SSD, it's, it's, it's kind of, I mean, it's 120 gigs. It's not huge, though, considering you'd have to store all your system files on that. I think this one would have issues. I don't know, like, you'd... That's it's just because the CPU. I mean, because that's the thing that there's no sort of in between option with these CPUs. It's I think like if you'd either like these like I'm going to show you again why you go to CPUs and you go value. There we go. It's it's one of these two. It's one of these two. Like for example, this one here is w is slightly worse in terms of like that. Oh, I mean no, they're virtually the same. They're actually the same thing. Okay, but like. I mean, no, this one here is sort of a compromise. You know, that's a that's a valid compromise one. Because, I mean, that's 87%, and it's slightly cheaper than that one. So, we're just going to compare these two. There we go. And just see. There we go. What's that one? Yeah, 4% faster. So, that one's still... Mm, yeah, uh, yeah, effective speed 7%. I'd probably pay the extra... Yeah, I'd probably pay... Yeah. I mean, how much is that? Twenty, twenty-three dollars. I'd pay, I'd pay twenty-three US dollars to get seven percent more out of it. Probably, again, it's yeah, probably I would. Uh, so yeah, but so yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, no, but then that no, because that's scaled down. So that again, that would be a valid option. That's slightly cheaper in that, but. Like, unless you're going to sort of be jumping up to one of these ones, which is that is really good. Yeah, literally, that one is an awesome one. That that would That's a solid as option. If we get to builds that have, like, a thousand US dollars, this one here would be... This is this is one of my favorite CPUs ever, because it's, it's great value, and it's sort of... It's it's like the highest great value one, in my view. And that's, but, that's, yeah. but for example, I'd sort of... For me, personally, if I had to make jumps, like, if you had... If, if you could only choose three CPUs... The three best CPUs out of these, I'd choose... This one right here, 
that the the ultra cheap one that's very good value this one here which is an extremely good mid-range one great for gaming you know it's that one's a really good one and then this one here so this here is sort of the cheapest ultra fast one this one here is the the like the like a, a great mid-range one that's solid in that and then this one here is also pretty good like i don't know i've probably i don't know i mean this one here would would it, it looks like an absolute solid unit of of a of a CPU. I think I think it's absolutely fantastic. I think it, it looks great statistically. I think it's awesome in that. But if I was buying a computer, you know, and I would probably spend, I don't know, yeah, I, pro I would. I'd spend the 120 extra US dollars to get this one over that one there. Just because, like, you know, if you want the computer to be around in 5 10 years this one here will be around in 5 to 10 years but as everything requires more and more and more and more and more power i don't know how this one will handle in 5 or 10 years with this one here in 5 or 10 years will almost certainly still be completely fine and completely usable in that you know but then you say well if you're going to spend 120 more to get up to this one why don't you just spend about 120 or 160 more to get up to this one and that you know the the you could use that argument but i mean that all that that CPU, that CPU. So that's probably of all all the i threes. That would be my favorite i three CPU. That would be my favorite i five CPU, and that would be my favorite i seven CPU. I haven't I haven't really just figured out between an i nine CPU. That one looks expensive. Probably. Well, I mean, at, at value wise, I'd probably then go with that one. But I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't go with that one. Like if you look at this versus this here, like like, like this. There we go. Like. 2% more, 2% more, oh, yeah, and it has the same amount of cores, oh, it does have double threads, but I mean, it's totally not worth it, you know, in my view, like, well, no, it's, I mean, obviously some people still buy it in that, but, like, that 120 US dollars more for 2% more, in my view, totally not worth it, I'd rather have the 120 US dollars towards something else than just 2% more, it just is totally, you know, if it was like ten dollars more. I'd think, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll spend ten dollars more, but a hundred and twenty more, no, not in my view. So anyway, that there is that there. So yeah, this is the this is sort of the leap of, like, and I feel like at four hundred US dollars, he can't really make that leap. It's just it's, it's, if you if you're gonna if you're not getting a graphics card, you can. So I, that would almost have been a good third option. In fact, because how long have we been going? I don't know. It would have been a good third option, like uh, if you had a if you didn't have a graphics card, because then you could divert divert that 129 into actually you, you know you yeah use that. So for example, into getting basically these three things. So it'd be like this. Yeah, it'd be like yeah yeah probably it would be something very similar to that. So it'd be like this one, but with that CPU, no GPU. Yeah, that that would actually be a really good valid option. So just well, I in fact I I should be able to try it now. So if we have no GPU, wait, no, that's not going to mathematically add up, is it? Hundred and twenty, oh, approxim, uh, yeah, because it's if we get approximately, no, it's not, it's no, it's not, hundred and sixty. Now that's going to be over. That's going to be over the spend because if you get hundred, get rid of hundred and twenty nine. $129 more, but that is, oh, let's, no, wait, I'm, okay, I'm going to try it. If we get rid of the GPU, bam, and then we upgrade the CPU of this one here to a, there we go, oh, there we go, at, wait, we, oh, we can just do this, bam, and then copy from baseline. Wait, that actually works? Yeah, okay, yeah, so see, that would be a, th a valid third option in my view, and have even slightly better things up here, so like, for example, have divert that 30, that extra, like, yeah, yeah, if you didn't need a GPU, in fact, I, actually, I'll go make it, so, for example, uh, you just saw what the other one was, and that was, uh, there you go, if I, yeah, I'll, I'll just do it, just make it, there we go, a assuming we didn't need a GPU, so yeah, sort of, yeah, yeah, this is actually a valid option in that, without the GPU in that. So, that's, that's sort of the three options. There's the one, if you had to have all of them, I would have got the last one, which had the, the i3 that you saw before, as well as that super GPU. I think that would that would have been a great option. If you didn't have to have, like, an HDD in that, and you're, you're really wanting that, you know, I would... Really wanting, if you had to have a GPU and wanted a good CPU, this is the option I'd go for. Again, not my favorite option. I'd hate not to have an HDD and, and a very small SSD, but it would work. You'd get by at, you know, but I think actually, I'd, I'd rather just drop out the GPU 
and just go with one of these. So for example, let's let's do this one here. So if you press back, I don't think that will work. There we go. Oh wait, mate, it might. Bam, 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 like that. Yeah. So yeah, there we go. So this one here. Uh, yeah. So this one here. This here would probably be, if I had to choose one, this would probably be my favorite option in that. And then a second favorite option will be the one I was going to make. And then a third favorite. Well, as a not necessarily, because of course you just want very minor differences. Like, okay, this is the perfect one. So then the next best one will be like this, but it's just $47 and slightly worse, you know. But assuming it was sort of kind of different, sort of as in whether it does or doesn't have a part. This here, as, as a full one that had everything, this one would be a, probably something I'd get for something very similar to this. Uh, for the second best option, which I'm going to make now, would be, like, y you'll s you'll see. And then the third best option, if you wanted that really good CPU, but you had to have a GPU, then I would I would go with that one there. Okay, I still have a two-hour stream to do after this. Okay, so let's get rid of this. So, no GPU. The CPU is going to be that one there. Oh, you from baseline. So we have $37 more. I'll just double-check those CPUs. If we go CPUs, there. yeah, I don't think. Because value, that's for that one there. Here we go, that one there. See, that that's, again, uh, not worth it. So, 93. The next best one, of course, is that one there, but it's too expensive. Okay, so there we go, 37 more dollars. And let's have a look at the... The RAM is always... A really good RAM is great. Although, it's already solid RAM. There we go, like that, for 75 dollars. Wait, 75, which is... Is it that one? Was it... What one is it? Is the 3000 C15... 3000 C15. Oh, this one here. Okay, it's got that color there. Okay, and when I think of the coursey ones, I always imagine that one. So that one there. So that one there is, wait, 85. Wait, is it that one there? Is that the 70? Oh, there we go, green. 75. Oh, yeah, so that was the one there. Okay, there we go. Don't make me for a set again. Okay, that one there. So, I mean, yeah, because that there would be... No, we couldn't even afford to get an upgrade. So, no, that one there, we, we have to keep that RAM. That one that is... Oh, wait, no, 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 of course, we could go this way, this direction. Can we? Will that make sense? Oh, yeah, yeah, because that's yeah, a little bit more expensive. Oh, that's the 4 times 4 which I wouldn't really want to get. That one... Oh, wait, that's way more expensive. That one there is... Yeah, but that's, that's a lot more expensive for not really many more percentage points. Uh, yeah, I don't know, because, I, I, I mean, that one there maybe, but that's, that's four times four, which is not particularly my cup of tea. There we go, four times, uh, four percent more a effective speed for 20 more US dollars. I mean, that's not a bad option. Oh, no, that was the one, yeah, no, we already had that, that thought. Okay, now, I'd, I'd rather, since it's sort of a borderline, I think I'd rather get a bit of SSD, to be honest. SSD, so currently we have gone with the pile, oh, the 49, oh, that was really good value, that's right. So for 49, we couldn't, oh, no, we could, we could whip up to one of these, which would be much better, probably. And instead of, well, the HDD, what's, because HDD value-wise, we've gone with 44. They are all out of the price range. I guess we could, we could go with something like that, I guess. So, how much is that extra? 36. Yeah, so we could go with, like, that one. Hmm. Like that versus that, I guess. Hmm, it's, yeah, it's not really a super far... It has more space, though. Hmm. So, the question is, will we want to be at HDD or ACC? Because the RAM is sort of about as good as it could get, other than the 4x4 one. Hmm, that's a tricky one. That's a tricky one. So, 37 more dollars. Oh, wait, no, okay, let's uh, let's compare those two SSDs that are of good value. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. So, it's the 30, no, not 100 or something. No, no, it's versus this, that one versus that one. Okay, this one here. Okay, so this one versus, is it the, what one is it? The 40, 44 dollar one, which is... 49, is it that one there? I think it is. Bam. Wait, is it that one? I don't know if it is that one. 250. Oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, 49. So there we go. So that is that is significantly faster SSD. There we go. Mm. So, yeah, so because if we swap that out, there we go for that one there. I mean, personally, with streaming, I'd prefer a bigger hard drive. But it was, yeah. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, I probably would, but SSD... Yeah, I because I don't know because I mean you could get two two extra terabytes of storage instead or a much better SSD. So I mean both both are valid options in terms of the upgrade. So if we go, it will be this one. Two point M point two M point two five hundred GB, and it is this one here, isn't it? Bam! Oh wait, we still have thirteen dollars. Ah, twelve dollars. I mean, twelve dollars. Really? Yeah. Okay. So that. Oh, so then. Yeah, that's not enough to wait. Forty-four. Ah, oh, twelve dollars. Could we upgrade that to the fifty-dollar one? Fifty-five, maybe. That one and that one. And that one's so much faster, though. I don't know. Again, it would depend. It would you rather? Hmm. No, but if you have a really fast SSD, now you might as well upgrade it then to get an extra terabyte of space out of it. So, the... Because uh, assuming you have the SSD that's fast. There we go. So, the HUA72. And we go over here. And we go to the HUA72. And it is the 3 tier. Wait, why is that one more expensive? You mean like that one... There, yes, that one. Bam, perfect with one dollar spear. Versus, so, and I just want to check if we go to HDD. So, because we could have that one, or if we were, that one there is one more. Yeah, okay, there we go. So, could get one more terabyte and a bit more speed out of that. There we go, ten percent more speed. But yeah, that one there, I think this is a valid option. If you weren't, if you weren't going to go with the GPU, I think this here would also be another valid option. So they were, they were the three valid, my three, three sort of, the sort of variations, like one that doesn't, like one that encompasses all of them, one that skips out the GPU, and one that like uh, has the the best possible CPU as well as a GPU kind of thing, at, while still being able to function. Sort of, so yeah, that's sort of my three variations that I would sort of come up with. So again, and it would, and so yeah, it would, if you, it would come into, it would, you'd have, I'd have to take into account the, the situation in that as to what someone wanted. So it would depend if they wanted gaming or streaming, uh, gaming or streaming or, yeah, I don't know, because I feel, because if, for example, with gaming, this one right here, you, oh wait, I kept myself, my face there the whole time rather than, oops, getting rid of it. Oh well. Ah, oh, sorry. Okay, with gaming, for example, this one here is the one that I would... You couldn't use this one for gaming and that, you know? Whereas that, yeah, I reckon the last one that I had here was solid, but again, you have a worse CPU, so... Yeah, anyway, that, so there would be those two right there, as well as that other one would be sort of three of the, three of the ideas that I would come up with in terms of which have had a 400 US dollar budget, excluding the motherboard and, and case, the, the other ones that I would go with. So anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you found it interesting. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Would you have chosen, or, or if you're still watching the live chat, you you, know, you may have already let me know. There you go. Which, would you have chosen what I chose? Or which variations would you have done? And yeah, anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope. If you thought, <laughs> if in like 50 years time, someone, but the thing is, in 50 years time, all of these parts will be so out of date. And it's so weird, like, just to think in 50 years time, like, who knows if we even have computers or if we some, have something sort of even different, like, way, you know, but, like, even at 20 years, like, all of these parts will be so outdated and they'll be so much faster, so it'll be kind of irrelevant. If someone made, like, in a year's time from now, went through and, like, built all three of these designs they made today, and then they could run some tests and be like, hey, this is how they work, I'll be like, what the heck, that's so funny, like, it would be banter. But, yeah, anyway, that's gonna wrap up this, but if they did too late, then it, it, they probably wouldn't be they've lost their value and well the parts will be cheaper so then it wouldn't be 400 us dollars anymore but anyway that's going to wrap up this video uh, they might be stop selling them but anyway i got to get onto my stream after this so have a wonderful beautiful rest of your day see you next time goodbye for now